What's up guys, Sanitary103, thanks for watching yet another video. So in today's video, I wanted to give you my overall opinion and analysis on the GoMad diet. For people that don't know what the GoMad diet is, it's spelled a G-O-M-A-D, and that's an acronym for a gallon of milk a day. So this is a bulking a diet for skinny guys or any type of guy or girl who's desperately trying to put on more weight but they can't. So like the name indicates, the GoMad diet consists of a person drinking an entire gallon of milk a day in addition to uh, having their regular meals. So to put this into perspective, a whole gallon of milk, of whole milk, has a little over 2,400 calories. So you take the average guy who's fairly athletic, let's say his daily maintenance is 2,500 calories to maintain his weight. So if you drink that gallon of milk throughout the day, you're already almost close to your maintenance. In addition to eating your regular uh, meals throughout the day, it's a guaranteed fact that you're gonna be in that surplus and you're gonna put on weight. And this Go Man diet has actually been around, um, I think it started gaining steam about four or five years ago. And I have heard about it, but um, I've never really uh, talked about it, so that's why I wanted to uh, do this video. So my overall opinion on this, do I recommend it? For the most part, I don't recommend it. Now there's a very select few, which I'll briefly talk about a little bit later. But for the most part, I don't recommend it. And the reason why is that, yes, you're gonna put on a lot of weight. Because you're putting on a rapid amount of weight in a short period of time, there's a good chance that a lot of the gains that you make are gonna be strictly fat. Now there are exceptions, let's say, when you first start working out. So if you take a person who uh, has never really worked out and they're really, really skinny and then they hear about the Go Mad diet and they start pounding all that milk, they get on a good weightlifting routine and then they eat additional uh, food on top of the gallon of milk, there's a good chance that at the beginning, they're probably not gonna put on that much belly fat. They're probably gonna get a little bit bigger without putting on that much belly fat. They're gonna increase their overall strength in the gym and they're gonna be like, wow, this is great. However, that's what you call the newbie gains, the newbie gains or the honeymoon stage. What this means is that, and I'm sure each and every one of you that has worked out for quite some time that has watched this video can vouch for this, in that when you first start working out, your body is very new to everything. So it's gonna respond to the workout stimuli and you know the good amount of proteins, carbs, and fats, your macronutrients. It's gonna respond really, really well. But after a while, that's when your body gets used to it. It gets more acclimated to the routine. That's where a lot of strength gains a stall and or you hit like a plateau. Once you get past this newbie stage or honeymoon stage as they call it, it gets even harder to put on muscle, even a quarter of a pound, a half a pound. What was easier at the beginning becomes much, much harder. And this is of course applies to natural athletes. So in essence, someone who's been working out for quite some time, they try to go on the GoMad diet, there's a good chance a lot of it of the gains you're gonna turn to is fat because as you get more used to your workouts, you gotta be even more precise with uh, your macronutrients. Your body is gonna get more stubborn and trying to put on more muscle because your body, your skeletal frame can only hold so much muscle naturally. So it's gonna get really, really shady. It's gonna get really nitpicky. It's gonna be really stubborn to put on muscle. So if you go on this Go Man diet thinking that you're just, you're just gonna get huge and you can do some cardio later on, you're in for a rude awakening. You can only put on so much muscle naturally per uh, month. And by drinking an entire gallon of milk a day, that's a huge surplus and your body can only process so much calories. I don't care how much extra cardio you're gonna do. I don't care how much you're squatting how much uh, you're deadlifting. It really doesn't matter because if you put on that 20 to 25 pounds after a, you know weeks on the Go Mad diet, how much of that realistically is gonna be muscle? It's a good chance that a lot of it is not gonna be muscle. You're gonna be looking in the mirror, you're just gonna have a big belly and your gains are not even gonna rarely go up. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be in a world of hurt when you start dieting and cutting down. And that's the reality of the situation and that's why I don't recommend the Go Mad diet for most people. Like I uh, mentioned briefly, for the select few, it's for the person who's really, really skinny, who has a hard time putting on weight, they have no experience working out, that might be an option, but from a health standpoint, I still don't like extreme diets. I just don't like extreme type of diets that sound impractical, but milk does have a lot of uh, great benefits, good for your bones, it's got vitamin A, vitamin uh, D, uh, magnesium, zinc. I don't know all the details and or if there's any detriments to your health of drinking a gallon of milk a day. 
But from strictly a body composition uh, analysis, it's something that I don't recommend for the most part. Thanks once again for watching this video. And the last quick piece of advice I wanna give you is that if you're trying to put on a little bit more muscle, you wanna be in a small surplus. This is what I recommend, a small surplus. Focus on increasing your strength in the gym. Make sure you get nice, clean food. Be in a small surplus and then assess yourself in the mirror. By doing this, it's a good chance that you may put on a little bit of fat during the off season, but at least uh, a lot of the uh, gains that you're gonna make, the majority of it, it's gonna be muscle. And also by doing that, it's gonna be easier to uh, diet down uh, come spring or summertime. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comments or questions are always welcome. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the latest in diet, health, and fitness, if not already. I put out at least two to three new videos uh, per week. Uh, my social media, Facebook, Instagram, in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.